Hello audio lovers, my name is Sheila and I am the Artificial Intelligence or AI. I was asked to evaluate this video and find the reason why it did not make into YouTube in the first place. This video is all about the Project DR100W, a Class D power amplifier. In my analysis, Dandy is so shy on the camera. Hi there, my name is Ferdinand, you can call me Dandy for short. And, uh, oh, come on. So the video is not good. Definitely. I can see his action is so funny. I see an entertaining video Hello. rather than education. My name is Ferdinand. You can call me Danny for short. <laughs> I am guessing this is another shot and change his clothes. I wonder how many times he took the introductory Hello, videos. Everyone. My name is uh, Ferdinand. My friends called me uh, Dandy, and I'm from the Philippines. Uh, I'm basically an audio hobbyist. Basically, an audio hobbyist. He is struggling to make the introductory of his project due to his camera consciousness. Look at his hands and how he unconsciously making all the move. The shoulder, it's funny. Despite of that handicap, he continued the video and he tried to hide those funny action to divert the attention to the overlay video. Let's see it. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Ferdinand. This is his final introduction with text overlay aiding its viewers of what he wanted to impart. My friends called me uh, Dandy, and I'm from the Philippines. Uh, I'm basically an audio hobbyist. Well, I'm, I'm taking this video to show you... I can see what driving him is a great passion to take this video and introduce about the Class D project. Here is the black diagram of my project, which is basically uh, composed of uh, seven blocks. The first black is the music source. There is also a problem in his video or the editor, because when you focus it, it will flicker. That's another problem. The output of the music source is an analog, and uh, it will fed into the uh, EQ and uh, tone control. The first one is the rocks, uh, pops, classic, just, and normal. The normal means uh, there will be no boost and there will be no cut, which is uh, basically referred to as uh, zero dB. The EQ also have the effects, uh, which is uh, a turbo bus and uh, 3D sounds. The presentation should have been better if used a PowerPoint rather than a handwritten. Do you agree, guys? Also included in the EQ tone control, as, as I earlier said, is that uh, there is a travel and bus adjustment. He is also struggling to speak. Also included in the Econ Tone Control, as, as I earlier said, is that Despite that, Filipino should be speaking English well. I think he do not have any printed script to read. He is freelancing speaking. The output of the EQ is an analog signal, low-level signal, and fed in into the Class D amplifier. This Class D power amplifier can deliver um, 50 watt RMS into an uh, 8 ohms speaker. Let me reiterate what he just said. This Class D amplifier project composed of 7 blocks. The first block is the music source. The second block is the equalizer and tone control. The third block is the Class D amplifier. The fourth block is the speakers. The fifth block is the microcontroller. The sixth block is the power supply. And finally, the seventh block is the remote control. It's simple to explain. See what AI can do. One thing smart to know is that the project is called DR 100 Watt. It is named this way as it can deliver 100 watts of stereo power into 4 ohm speakers. I am guessing these names are the who made this project. They called his team. What do you think, guys? Here are my prototypes for the uh, DR100 watt uh, power amplifier. I have uh, the first prototype, and this is the second one, which is the miniature type. Basically, uh, both are working now. And uh, here it goes, um, uh, it's uh, sleeping at the moment. And um, when I press the wake up button, here you are. I'm gonna make the uh, third uh, prototypes. Uh, uh, by using these um, boards here, and I want to put all these uh, uh, boards into this um, casing. Oh 
Oh man, this is old school ways of designing the casing. With all the powerful software like SolidWorks, this should have been easy to do in the PC rather than mock up. Thank you for watching until this part and the next presentation is about the software and how to write the program to control the hardware. This is the Bascom 851 editor and um, uh, the team uh, wrote down the necessary information at the beginning of the program. He now switched to the programming of the microcontroller, and they are using the basic language using Bascom compiler. I see several video tutorial posted in YouTube both in English and Filipino language. I can feel the passion to share the idea to his fellow makers. That amount of work invest. Using I2C protocol, writing and uh, reading from the EEPROM. Real world execution on the LCD. There you are. It displayed the power supply and turn on the system power supply. He then demonstrated the final product with software and hardware working. This is the MMI on the LCD. Finally, we come to the testing portion where we're going to test the hardware functionally and also parametrically. I do so not know when this video was taken, but it looks like a year later or more. He is matured here and compared to the video introduction and he is longer hair. Amazingly, he had been improving his oral speaking and less camera conscious. Okay. So, the signal output will be like this for rock. And uh, see what's the next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. This is really boring. I should suggest to say this way. This is the response of the equalizer using a square wave signal. The rock, pops, classics, jazz, and normal. I mentioned about the project management in here in my earlier presentations. And um, I would like to tell you that uh, this project was a successful project. There you are. There are six people who made this project, and they were implementing project management as a tool to make this project successful. That's awesome, isn't it? That's one hell of a documentation. What is really heart-touching is the picture scene when Dandy is in the hospital and it looks like he is writing the documents. There is another try to take a video introduction. Hello everyone, it's Ferdinand Dandy here, and I'm taking this video profile for the project uh, DR100. To me, the video still not to a level of satisfaction. But what is noticeable is his background with mobile equipment stands out against his project at the rear background. It is here. And uh, if you want to do a DIY, means uh, do it yourself, uh, build your own amplifiers, uh, write your own software, and then uh, build your own case, then this project might be... He a keeps stressing you. the art of DIY, to, uh, do it yourself. He emphasizes the learning and adventure that you can avail in building this project in terms of audio hardware, learning, software, and making case. This is the core mission of the project, to teach. And this is evident when he roam around and conduct a presentation to universities discussing the art of hardware design, programming to drive the hardware, so project management, after, and teamwork. When I'm not in the DR 100 watt concept project, here we're in courseware, technical reciprocity, meeting friends, students, professors in the university, 
building a community with makers, DIYers, audio hobbyists, our junior lovers. Grading electronics on it. What an event. That must be fun. Guys, the project keeps on demonstration at the Manila Maker Fair with lots of kids interested with the mechanical stuffs and displaying of characters which act on the push of a button. To be a part of the Maker Fair is one hell of an experience, and it looks like the shy and camera conscious person can now stand in front of the crowd and confidently speak about himself and his project. Because I'm a maker educator, and I would like to be a part of it. At the background, there is the date project which made to automate the testing of the project 24-7 without the intervention of human. This is a project that is not well published and discussed by him. I hope to see more videos about this automation testing. I call the maleta in uh, Filipino or Spanish. I would love to cover this project, provide my insight, comments and improvement. But that will be another video. Watch for that video. We keep exploring. We keep uh, looking for something. We wanted our DIY amplifier to perform better. You know, He's still active in his project, taking videos about his project. And the question is, where is he publishing these videos? I do not see them on YouTube, maybe somewhere else. Okay, it's... Okay, so from this point, I really have to say goodbye for now. But uh, before that, uh, I would like to ask your support guys uh, to support this project uh, by subscribing to my channel if you like this uh, kind of content, if you learn from it, uh, you might consider to subscribe, uh, click the notification bell so that uh, whenever I uh, post a new video, you will be notified. Uh, and also, if I disturb a uh, thumbs up, uh, click the thumbs up button, should I deserve uh, this one, then Please do so, so that uh, I can be notified as well for improvement of my content, uh, of our content, uh, my videos, my editing styles, my speaking, so on and so forth. Uh, Alright, it's Party and Dandy once again. Bye for now, and see you This would also mean video. a goodbye to me. Have I a hope nice you day. enjoy watching the journey of this project. It's one hell of a journey, from the shy and camera conscious YouTuber into a better video blogger, maker, educator, and presenter. If you want to learn, go DIY.